Fifteen miles down the Thames from London, they're digging the biggest road tunnel to be built in Britain since 1934. And although the whole project is highly mechanised, it's still one of the toughest jobs in the world. Working towards each other deep below the riverbed, shifting thousands of tonnes of chalk in the process, the Kent and Essex teams have nearly half a mile to go before they link up. Yet in four years' time, traffic will be flowing through this mile-long tunnel along a modern roadway. Ventilation towers at each end will keep the tunnel cleared of fumes. Air pressure, that's one of the biggest problems. Coming off an underground shift, the men must spend up to an hour and a quarter in a decompression chamber. But they've been working in air, which is nearly three times the normal pressure. So, like divers, they must return to normal gradually. Otherwise, air bubbles might form in their blood with dangerous results. Work goes on night and day, so the changeover of shifts is quite a complex business. Why do they have to work in compressed air? Because in the porous chalk below the riverbed, water is constantly seeping through, and only compressed air can keep it out. The pressure must vary with the tide. At high tide, it's 27 and a quarter pounds per square inch above normal, and at low tide, 24. Incidentally, this is the first film ever made of a compressed air job of such magnitude. As the conveyors bear away the chalk, the cast iron lining grows segment by segment behind the moving steel shield which keeps close to the face. The tunnel is 28 feet in diameter and 34,000 tons of this lining will have been put in place by the time it's finished. Chalk from the conveyor is crushed and mixed with water to be pumped to the surface. Mechanization speeds a project which will ease the traffic burden of London's East End. 